Hey everybody, welcome back to the Quarantine Camper Project. I think this is part 11 now that we're on. It's been a long process, I will give it that. And I admit that I didn't expect it was gonna be this long. And I appreciate everybody who's stuck around from the first episode or watched all the way through to this point because it's taken a while. But today, we came out here this morning and put on the roof. So, FRP is on the roof. We are going to get more contact cement to do this front face and the back face. But right now, I can put the vent in. So yes, finally, the roof vent is gonna go in and stay in. Anyway, we also have got the door lock. So we picked up a latch and that will be going into the door somehow. We have some sort of plan. My dad thought it through and he's got something in his head. I didn't understand it when he explained it to me, but we'll see what happens. I think he's maybe misunderstanding how all the pieces work for this thing. Cause I see some pieces that were not intended for certain things on the table. But we'll see what happens. It probably will end up working since it's about the fifth time we've redone the door, or at least redone our idea for the door. But there's the hole. I'm gonna get drilling. So you just watched me cut out and install the vent. The glue came out, or not glue, but the sealant coating, rubberized coating thing that I got came out a little weird. I haven't used the Rust-Oleum brand before. I've used something else like Plasti Dip. But I mean, I think it's gonna work. It's definitely a lot thicker than I thought it would be, but I don't see that as a bad thing. So the vent is now fully installed. The roof is fully installed. All we need are the sides, the last two windows, and trim pieces. And then it can be fully set on the trailer once the door is in. And it can be rolled in and out. I could actually go out and use it as a camper, just throw the, the mattress in. But I think either tonight we might end up doing some interior work or work on the door because we ran out of glue and it's the 4th of July and surprise, surprise, the hardware stores are closed. So we'll get more contact cement if we can't find any in the basement and finish that another day. Otherwise, I think maybe start on the interior. That seems like the next logical thing to do since we're waiting on exterior like materials, but we'll see. Uh, and if I haven't said it already in this video, which I don't think I have, Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And really, comments, I respond, and I wanna hear what you think. So we're gonna call it a night, but what you saw us do at that last minute before the camera shut off, cause it was nearly dead, was start to work on some shelving. We got 
one side completely done. So cubby, cubby, cubby. So this bottom one down here is going to be the electrical area. So I need to work on wiring and battery and all that now on that side. But other than that, we can put the trim in on the inside and put in that other shelf tomorrow, which will look pretty good. I can then go pick up the carpet since I kind of know how much I'll need now. But anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow. Hey everybody. So it's been a day or two and I'm gonna get the other shelf in here. We got this side in last. And after that shelf's in, I am going to run the wires. So there's actually a little slight gap behind all the shelves here. And since I'm doing all LED, I don't need a super heavy gauge wire. So I can run nice little thin, like 16, 18 gauge wire down there, which will be plenty strong enough and durable enough for the electrical system in this. Anyway, I'm gonna get started on the shelf. I think I only have like one sheet of plywood that will work and I'll need to find some more that hopefully we have around here somewhere, but we'll figure it out as we go. Enjoy the time-lapse. Okay, so I think the last time lapse was me working on the electrical system. And since it's so intricate and there's no real space to film it, there's no point. I can walk you through what I have done though. So flip the camera. And first off, we now have actual cabinet here and a hole cut out where the rocker switch and the USB ports go. Yep, just two USB ports in here, at least for now. I left all this open so that you can have the option to make some more holes and put other things in. I might put a voltmeter right here, have this open for switches still. Not sure yet, but it gives me op options. Uh, down here, way in the back there, you can see I mounted the fuse block right there. No, it doesn't have to be grounded like that. It's only got the positive terminals going through it. Still working on the grounding probably gonna have to drill a little tiny hole and silicone it to waterproof everything so that I can ground to the trailer because I don't think grounding to the battery will work as well as you think it will because it's not like a double-a battery e system though it isn't going to be running off much more than that um, I got the wire running all the way up through the back of the cabinets which will get hidden with some other trim pieces once I get that taken care of. But look, I've got a nice door. And it took me a little while to find the right hinge. I had a different hinge on here before, which you can see a couple of holes there and some holes actually. I switched out this piece for a better fitting one, which is why I needed a different hinge. But it looks really good and it actually nearly matches the grain of the wood. So not something that'll be super noticeable. I do have a knob. It was chrome. I decided to spray paint it black with some Plasti Dip and that's drying outside right now. So hopefully that I can put on in the next like hour after another coat to get the underside. Um, otherwise, I've run the wires all the way up and over and then I had them taped up but they fell. But the wire goes all the way around the outer edge and right about there probably because the light can extend on past that. Uh, it's been a pretty successful day, I'd say. I only get like one day off a week to really work on this, so otherwise I'm doing it at night, which is what you see is most of my videos because the light fades in them. So I'm happy with where it is right now. Uh, trim pieces, I need to 
urethane stain those. So that will happen probably either later tonight or maybe tomorrow. I do have a little gap right here that I need to fix. And that's not really a concern at the moment because having a little breathing room for all that stuff is not a bad idea. So it doesn't really bake in case it gets really hot in here. So I might leave it like that because it's fairly well hidden. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think just getting a battery is going to be the next step because I've got all that wired set up for when I get the battery. I have to decide what battery to put in it, but whatever it is, is going to have to fit through my little cubby door here. Um, I guess for the shelving purposes, what I was thinking for all these, because you notice when you look at them, they're different sizes except for the bottom two. So the bottom one obviously was electrical for the driver's side. The passenger side one, which actually has a piece of wood in here, bracing out this because I don't have the screws here. They're in the trailer, the construction trailer. Uh, so this is going to be kind of like a shoe space down here. Maybe like camp stoves or something will fit in this next one because it's a little extra tall. Not sure what I'm going to put up here yet, but it could be just food storage or something right now. It's got some electrical components. Uh, same with over here. I don't know what these three shelves are going to have. It's really making weird size ones. Like the bottom ones are each about a foot. Uh, the other ones are all mismatched. Like some are 18 inches, some are 20 inches, and some might even be like something weird like 14 and a half. I don't know. I didn't really measure. I just kind of went with what I had, but it works for me. It will definitely fit some weird gear, which you never know the sizes of what you're going to be carrying, but it's starting to look pretty good. It's hard to tell even when I zoom in like this, but it's going to have a nice feel to it when you go through because it's almost like you're going through a hallway to get to the bed. So it's going to be kind of neat and I can't wait for it to be finished, especially the inside, which I should be getting carpet for it sometime in the next week once we get the trim pieces set out and get the front on so I don't have to worry about cleaning up the carpet with the FRP sawdust, which is just kind of nasty to work with because it's plastic. It's like plastic shavings. So that's why the bed's not in there yet to test it because I know I still have to do the front two windows. Um, this has just been a long rant. But we'll see how long this episode is. I think I'm going to let this one go a little bit longer than some of the others. But anyway, I'm going to get back to work. Okay, everybody. So it's currently Friday. This video is going up in like an hour and a half. So what you're going to see right now is a teaser for what I'm working on today. And that will be out next week. I came out here to measure all these walls up so that I can go pick up some carpet. Um, anyway, you'll have to stick around and watch the next video for that. But like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and have a good day.